I wanted to take some time today to make an informational video for an event I'm running called Righteous This Month. Boop. If you follow me on Twitter or DeviantArt, you might already be aware of what I'm doing. Basically, Righteous This Month is an idea for spiritual restoration of the heart. It's not a physical event you attend or have a bunch of set rituals. Those kind of things can be time-consuming and burdensome, especially if you're busy. And that's not what I'm doing here. Over the past several months, there has been a growing instance of hatred and discourse between people. And my heart was greatly grieved to see the news of churches being set on fire. I am aware that there is a corruption in this nation, and a corruption in our churches. But for the sake of the symbolic meanings of our churches and our flag, as well as those innocent who are caught in the crossfire, by no means should we burn these things to the ground. Instead, I wish to propose to everyone a time of righteousness. Righteousness Month came to me about a year ago, as a time set aside for people to remember God, and ask the question, what does the Lord consider righteous? A time for people to be unified in joy and peace, not to think about the things that are evil, but promote the things that are good. We should fight evil and corruption not with bitterness and anger, but by doing good. And so, for Righteous this month, there are no set rituals that a person must follow. But it's just a time to remember God and focus on living honorably. A time for everyone to pray and be united together as one family under the sun. I also designed banners to help serve as a reminder for the various virtues that Righteous this month represents. And they are also meant to give peace and comfort for all who look upon them. Hence one reason why they should always be sparkly and beautiful. A banner of conservation, to remember to take care of God's creation, the animals, and other humans too. A banner of honor, to remember to live truthfully and stand for what is just. A banner of humility, to remember to be meek before others and not self-serving. A banner of promise, to remember God's promises and look forward to the future with hope. A banner of purity, to remember to keep the mind away from things that are corrupt. A banner of redemption, to remember the blood of the Lamb so our iniquities are forgiven and that we can remember to forgive others also. And to tie all the banners together, at last we have a banner of Christ's love. An unconditional love that is pure, upright, keeps to their word, humble, hospitable, and forgives iniquities. The greatest and most important commandment is to love God and love one another. And when you truly love someone, you don't want to hurt them or cause them pain. And because of love, I want to live righteously. And hopefully because of what I'm doing, this can encourage you to do the same. Now, I don't want this thing to be about me. While in truth, I would love to see my event catch on, as I deeply feel in my spirit that this will help people. If this can just help brighten up your day and give you peace in your soul, that is all that truly matters to me. The Lord did not send His Son for numbers, but for you as an individual. Always remember that. For everyone watching, I hope this idea can be of blessing and encouragement, even if you don't necessarily agree with me as a person. I'm not the best at talking. So I have a website with all the information. Please check it out if you can. And while the event of Righteousness Month is set for August, its message is something that can be remembered throughout the year. If you like what you see, feel free to share if you can. I hope this can help as many people as possible. Though the most important thing is for you to be at peace and have fun. So in closing with this video, I have one last thing to say. May God bless you and restore your soul with His rivers of living water. And have a wonderful day. Pours on me His holy oil. Spirit of the living